Hello guys, my name is Maicon and I am a quality assurance and software developer and today I will show you how I use Jenkins continuous integration to automate my process of my my app and Maicon, what are, what are you talking about? Do you have an app? Yes, I have an app I create an app just for that but for uh, testing using different um, automation as Espresso and Selenium but Today now, uh, I will just show you how I create a Jenkins, Jenkins file and how I put some steps and some stage, stage and I will show what I have and how I did, some settings, what we need to do before we start the project, okay? But let me just return to my screen and I will turn off my camera for a moment, just okay? Guys, here I have Jenkins, my Jenkins here, but I'll just skip for this and I'll explain my app as a shortly. Here I have my app, my app is called Task Manager. And here you can just, for example, add something like hi and zero one, whatever. And I'll just save here. And we have hi here, if I edit here, I it's editing as well, and then I'll just select it complete and press save, and if, uh, okay, you see here, okay, that's my idea, and just overview about my app, and, but usually you're using Jenkins to automate our process, uh, I mean, for example, of course, this is, a, this is an example, but in hypothetical scenarios, uh, it's not hypothetic, but more common if more common is we work with a different we work in a big team and they have a different position such as uh, developer, QA, manager, analyst, or the person who it's just for create the environment. But ah, for for example, another we have uh, testers. It's my case, but I'm software developer too. But in this case, we want to, okay, we want to create a process that I will just open my camera for now. I think it's better. Okay, now, now I'm talking, I'll just try to explain or make a review how I see in Jenkins and just how, we, how I can use Jenkins in this, in this scenario. And usually, for example, when we, when we have a big team, we have many different developers. In this case, it's a small app. It doesn't have a lot of functionality. But of course, maybe it could be a banking app or a finance app. In this case, this app will be a, a bunch of functionality. And <clears throat> sometimes it's it's recommended we have a process. In this process, that you this tube have some steps like, okay, create a build and test if if everything is okay and put this app in another place and then the other person or other professional they can take this app and start to testing something like that but usually usually we can do by ourselves but when we are working a big team it's recommended we work um, separately i mean we don't need to rebuild it, we need to redo something or it's recommended we have, uh, for example, a Jenkins. The Jenkins, I, Jenkins have a possibility, I will show you, how you can create a, a file. In this file, we can put many different steps and depend on what you want, okay? And now let me just close my camera for a moment, guys. Okay, I will just stop my emulator here and here i have my jenks you can see i just let me just move here i will just build now because this takes uh, five or six minutes and i can take this time to explain to you okay okay it's running here you can see here here i have steps michael where can you find these steps Okay, I will show you here. And usually it's here. 
okay it's here here i can see this step just i just minimize this okay and we don't need this for now guys this is the jenkins file dot jenkins this is necessary when to create an uh, automated in uh, in jenkins it's a uh, way to continue integration for example here uh let me just put this over here because we don't need this for now and here for example here i have some stage in this stage i have some steps for example here checking code from git repository in this case my code is in on github you can check that and of course this is file 2 is there because inside my project here and here we have some stages and some some steps like check out prepare for this to start my apk and clean i create a specific uh, folder for that when i create an app this script you will copy and paste in my folder here here okay if you see here i'm using windows here i'll just move a little again here from now and of course i'm just continuing these steps build the bugging apk verify if the bugging was generated copy the generated apk to apk generated here i'm copying here i'm just clean the folder here i'm copying the this apk to that and the folder it's here okay you can see here in here i decide to just put timestamps with current date it's better to to track or ah, you see if the gen if the app it's it's recently or is updated or it's not old, something like that it's it's a it's a good practice <clears throat> okay let me just sc scroll down let me continue here i have another steps here i'm starting the emulator here i'm starting the uh wait emulator to boot just up install mpk to the emulator verify if install it apk and so on okay i will just you can check my you could you can check this this file on my github just access my repository it's public okay look i this is this is not the uh, the short file. It's not a small file. Not a big file too. Could be more bigger as well. Bigger. So, and let me see if. Okay. Let me just. And now I'm create the build apk. If we, I just copy in here. Oh wait! In here, just. You can see here. This is good because Jenkins here jenkins he he show he showed this column and this is easy to track for example when we have some uh, some problems ah some step is fail and how you can find the how can find how can understand what's happened and we can use this to just grab but after the after done this i will show i will just open and i will show you this information log this helps to analyze if everything is okay because sometimes it's here it's fail one column press the red here but it's not show anything it shows just okay it's red it's fail but how we can know that we can just expect and we can track and analyze it better where is the problem or something like that and guys in this case I'm, I'm sorry I'm forget to, to explain to you but here I have some tests okay but if you can see here this is comment 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 okay but michael why you commenting this this test is is because my ig is the show you in execution show show to you how we can how we can start uh jenkins how we can create a file and see some results here because here i'm using espresso it's automation test very similar to selenium the idea is the same but they have some particulars concepts and how we can create it but the main idea is the same 
and just for for this video i decided to just give this uncommented and another is commented of course in the future we just can i can just uncomment and run everything it will be it will be good this would be the same but the difference it's the time let me check if everything is okay awesome let me just uh one second here okay guys the last thing that i will show you here about the log and for example here okay ah imagine of course here for example uh, i tried to execute earlier and i'm i fixed some steps in and then i need i need to find where was the problem and i used to i use this way to find where was the problem for example here imagine here it's it's green but could be red and okay how you can know a mouse for example how can discover how you can see more details about this problem and we can enter here i just open here and i will show console here i'm just full and control f here you can see here here because sometimes sometimes uh our steps doesn't work and show some problem and this is another way that we can find where's the problem or the log something like that or kind of this or this and more <laughs> okay but this okay i'm just a, a little step more let me just come back to my pipeline and okay ah, another thing that let me show you my report android test report here here's my report i'm just i'm using espresso but i'm testing if you see here i'm just going to see here i'm just i'm have i have just this test ah, i told you i told you because this is take a lot of time and for this video i decided to just comment but here is let me just control f okay here awesome and another thing uh, i forget to say how we can create how we can create the this okay and here i'm just this is a uh, one more information the video it's i'm my idea is covered i done with this video just i was trying to explain a little more about how we can create that how i create that uh here in dashboard i have another text here but don't worry about it a new item we select the pipeline we need to put some name here and just enter here okay okay now if you see this screen it's the same of this it's not it's very the same because i choose another option but the idea and in this in this page we can create <coughs> our pipeline let me just return to my pipeline here and i want to finish my video and let me just open my camera guys i appreciate your time i i don't know maybe in the first moment could be uh very complicated uh how we can understand and how we can create a jenkins file but my advice for you is just try step by step and try to run and see the log where is the problem and how we can solve that okay but of course with the time if you do one time two time three time and one thousand time it will be better better and better okay and i appreciate your time and see you next bye bye